Hello everybody, this is Mr. Bowman. Today we're going to be looking at the Alex topic, solving a word problem involving consecutive integers. So this one uh, probably seems a little bit strange because it's not like a lot of the word problems we look at, but in principle it actually is going to do the same general idea. We're going to take uh, an English idea and we're going to turn it into an equation and then solve it that way. So looking here, we have three consecutive integers have a sum of 81. And we're just going to try and find those integers. So what does it mean for things to be consecutive? In terms of uh, integers, it means one's going to be right after the other one. So for example, 4, 5 are consecutive, 7, 8, 13, 14, etc. Or three consecutive means we'd have like 6, 7, 8, or 11, 12, 13. So thinking about that, how can I express that without using three separate variables? So what I want to do is I'm just going to pick any first number, and I'm going to call that x. Okay. So my integers then would be x. The next one would be 1 higher than x, or x plus 1. And the one after that would be 1 higher than x plus 1, which would be x plus 2. For example, using our one from earlier, if this is 6, 6 plus 1 is 7, 6 plus 2 is 8, so 6, 7, 8. Okay. So when I put those together, I want to sum, which means I'm going to be adding. So I would have x plus, and we'll put these in parentheses to make it a little bit easier to set them apart, x plus 1 plus x plus 2. I'm going to add all of those together, and they have a sum of 81. All right. After that, I'm just going to start combining some like terms. So x plus x plus x is 3x. 1 plus 2 is 3. Bring down that 81. Then I solve it like normal. So subtract 3, subtract 3. We get 0 here, which is important. Um, then we end up with 3x equals 81 minus 3 is going to be 78. Divide by 3, divide by 3, x equals, all right, so this is uh, 16 and 18, so 26. And that's, now this is not quite the end of your answer, that is the end of your uh, equation, but I want to find all the integers. So jumping back, x is my first number, so my numbers then are going to be 26, 27, and 28. And you can't add those three things up to make sure you do get 81. In this case, you do. So we're all done.